Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and today we are going to review a play from last week. It was August 23rd, it was big. This play worked out really well. Now, I know it was a big gap down, but as we know, we went through the rating system. We know it was good. We absolutely know it was good. We had 100% conviction. We went through the rating system and rated good. So what do we do? We watch it. We have to watch the best things available to us. We can't get scared out of them because they gap down a lot. We have to go through the point system. There's many, many things to look at on those points. We have to go through the system. The system's there for a reason. That's why we have the system. And this had a beautiful move in the day. Went all the way down to 29.33. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just see where, really, where was the target on this thing? Well, the ultimate target was like 28.50. It didn't get there. Here, it went under this, this target, 29.74.30, 29.74, it went under that. So it did it. It made it. That's where it talks with itself there. Let's see. 28.89. Huh. Yeah. Didn't get to 29, but it got pretty darn close. Now, let's look at it. I want to show you first the 15 minute chart. Now, this is pre market. Look at what this is pre market. Could this get any more perfect? This isn't on the open. This is 9.30. This is pre-market. 8 o'clock, 8.15, 8.30. Bell set up, triggers. Now, this opened. Now, I know we all got excited about what it did, and we're going to go over that in a minute in the one-minute chart. But look, there really was no reason to get excited. Because you see what it did here. This is all that it did. This formation was fine didn't do anything wrong. Didn't do anything wrong even when it went up there. The whole thing was still valid. No reason to get scared out of this. No reason to panic. Why? We love the gap. We love the gap. Then we have this. Beautiful. Now this is what it happened on the day. Now this is what I mean by an imperfect. We're talking about this in the class. Now here, here's an example. This is a 15 minute cell setup that worked. It wasn't perfect, like I like to see them. However, it worked. Now you can start to get a feel for these once you play these, once you get these moves in these things, if these are gonna continue on or not. It showed such weakness, it could hardly rally itself at all. It fell really hard could hardly rally at all, so you couldn't have 100% conviction if this was not going to back up here, set up and then back up on itself into lunch and wait and go later in the afternoon. But as it turns out, it could not do that. It wanted to go and it wanted to fall as hard as it could. The market helped this thing, remember, on the day that this happened. This was Thursday. The market was red. It fell into 2 o'clock reversal time. This is actually a nicer 15 minute sell set up here than here. This is nicer. See that? And the stop here in this one is a lot less than the other one. 17 cents, 18 cents. Now, of course, you're already at money from the morning place, so you can take it. This is a better one than this one because it didn't set up perfectly. This is not perfect either, but it's close. I like to see them set up a little bit differently. We discussed this and learned this in the class. But sometimes when these things are weak and they just want to bleed, that's what they do. And, you know, you're up money, you make the decision. You make the decision if you're going to go back in for the second play or not. You make the decision. And you set a certain amount of money, you're going to risk yourself, and you don't change it. You stick to it. You say, I'm only going to risk another $50? Fine. I'm only going to risk another $100? Fine. Don't change your mind. If for some reason this wouldn't work or this wouldn't work, and you lose what you risk, stop. Stop, 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 stop. You're already up money from the day from this. Okay, we're going to go over it now. And see, look at this thing. If you played the five-minute chart, where where was your entry on this? Where? You have to learn to play the first five to 15 minutes of the day. It is essential. 
for these guys. Essential to get the right price, to get the right entry. This is everything I teach in my class. You've got to learn how to do this. Where, where did you? Where, was, where are you going to take this thing in the five minute? Nowhere. It dropped. You missed it. Take it here if you want to. It's 1030. It's late. This thing is dropped hard. It's probably going to rally. It didn't. It was weak, but you didn't know that for sure. If this is your first entry, it's not a great one. It worked. Okay. The gap was good, but there's no guarantee that at this late time of the day, after this kind of drop, it's not going to reverse itself and go up here and go touch touch over here. This was perfectly still valid and could have rallied all the way up to here. And still been retaken. It couldn't even do it that. It's just so weak. Now, let's go to the one minute. So, opens 9.30. Okay. Guess what? The highest 32 will hold number. Surprise, surprise. Triggers, enter it. Boom. You get a drop. You're up money. Stop over the high of the day, which happened to be 32. Now, this open and went green. We talked about this in the class where you have to kill this. But after it does this, boom, you're back in right here. I know it went over the whole number. I know it went over 32, but the gap is still good. And we discussed this and learned this in the class. As soon as this does this, this is a setup here. Boom, boom, go, enter. You're in. And if you didn't want to take this because you were concerned, you don't know how to play this because you didn't take my class, you're scared, I understand. But don't move off this thing. At the very least, wait and give it a chance to retake it. Give it a chance to work. You know the way these things are, okay? So then you get this here. Didn't go into the low of the day yet. Not a problem. Weakness, 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 weakness. Trying, it's trying, it's trying. Tiny, tiny, tiny little bars. Triggers right here. You're in it again. So the play was here. Then again. Then again. Then a drop. If you don't know how to do all of this, fine. You at least take it in this belt setup here. You deny 45 reversal climb, stop over this base, and you're lowering your stop anyways when you get to that point. You've got nice sides in this thing, and you're going to have to inch into this actually before it even goes because you may not get filled. There could be an uptick in this thing. And that's sometimes what happens with these. It's just the name of the game. So you may have to try to get filled here before this actually goes. Because you don't want to get filled in this drop. It would be terrible. It would be a horrible price. So you take it down. Really? The first target had to be $30. Did it even reach this on this? No, it didn't. I mean, this this was a dollar move here, though. $31.51, $30.50. My rule is a dollar drop. And first thing, first five fifty minutes of the day, you take it. So if you didn't want to take the whole thing because you love the gap and said at least 30 you could take half of it off into the dollar drop. Okay, and you manage the rest. And you keep lowering your stop to these pivots. And you give it some time. And then it did drop off some more. And then it really dropped off some more. And you could have managed this the whole way down into the drop. You could have managed this the whole way down into the final drop. But at some point, you're going to have to get out of this. Now, let's just say you held on to this. Where would you get out of this? Then you took half off in the dollar move. The rest you managed down on pivot. When do you get out of this? 29.33, 29.33, right there it is. Boom, double bottom, take it. It's been bleeding for six hours, and you get a double bottom, you better be out of this thing. Don't you dare wait for this thing to blow up. I mean, it didn't blow up until later here, but this thing could have, boop, like that, and that's how you get hurt. A double bottom, it's been bleeding for six hours, people are going to take their profit. So you take it here, and if you didn't know enough to do that, then you take it over this space. And if you didn't know enough to do that, you darn well better take it over this space. And you see that's where it really started to go here. But at this point, you are up so much money. What what else are you trying to get? 30, 33 cents to 29? What do you want? 33 cents. You're going to give back 30 cents to get 30 cents? You're going to give back 50 cents or a dollar to get 30? 
don't do that to yourself and recognize the fact that the double bottom is an exit that is a sign and then it didn't go lower here take it so let's just look at this figure here I love reading charts this stuff just doesn't get any better than this there it is you don't know what to do you're up so much money in this is to how is this really gonna get a 29 is it gonna get a 25 today and this thing this stock can move and it can move that I can make a million dollars today. I don't really want to take this if I don't have to. What should I do? When you get this, don't have blinders on. You can't trade in a vacuum. Make a decision in the moment with no hesitation. See that for what it is and don't be sucked into the green because you're up a lot of money and you're starting to get piggish and you think it's going to go to 28 and you're going to make another dollar thirty-three in it. Yeah, that sounds great. But when you must read the chart, this is about trading and making fast decisions with your brain in the moment, with your mind, with your brain. We talked about this in the class. Your mind and your brain is saying, okay, hmm, all right, not a problem there. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. This started to go back down. It didn't get under here. This is a double bottom. You take it. You take it right there if you didn't take it here. When it hits a double bottom, you should take it. Boom. If this bar closes with the double bottom, you take it. And if you didn't take it there, then you darn well better take it here. This did not overreact after the double bottom, but I have seen them do that. We, we saw that in the class. We saw that in the class on MS, remember? The problem is this didn't overreact because so much people were up so much money from holding this, however long they were holding it, that, that nobody overreacted to anything. But protect your profits. Protect your money. Use your brain and stay in the moment and stay focused. I don't care if you're up $5,000 in this trade. I want you to stay focused in this. This is perfection. You take the trades the way I taught in that class today. You get in that thing right and you enter in every place I told you to enter and you get out here. You can't get any perfect than that. And I just, all I did was did what the chart told me to do. Boom. You, you could have taken this and not given back one cent. And how, talk about perfection. That's it. You turn the computer off. Take the day off and it tomorrow. Because you're not going to, if you trade this thing perfectly, when you get this kind of move and you get this kind of thing and you do everything right, that you're capable of doing now if you took my class, you should be so happy and proud of yourself. So proud of yourself. Don't expect yourself to do another trade like that the rest of the day. And if you want to, take the day off tomorrow. this is it. So it was a beautiful train. It was a great guess. We rated it. It was high. It got almost every point except for a couple. And that's no big deal. We knew it was going to work. So if you have any questions, email me at melissa at the This is Melissa, and I will talk to you soon.